What's up, YouTube? So, in this video, I'm going to be taking a look at the um, injury report for the Miami Dolphins and Cincinnati Bengals game. Um, I am recording this as of Saturday night, um, so if anything changes uh, tomorrow before the game, then, you know, that's why I didn't say it. So, basically, I usually do this in the morning, but I have had a very busy day today, and I want to sleep in tomorrow. So, um, I'm doing it now. This I'll, I'll probably schedule this to come out tomorrow, so it shouldn't affect too much. But if anything changes, yeah. Um, so our running back group is continuing to take a beating. Um, Ahmed and Washington are both doubtful, which really sucks ass. Um, Tua is most likely going to be out. Um... I don't know about Malcolm Perry and Shaq Lawson. But, there is good news. Miles Gaskin looks like he might be good to go. Now, also, um, as far as our running back go, our running backs go. Where's the... Matt Breda is on the COVID list. So, we're losing another running back already. So, uh, assuming, uh, it, it's kind of rough to say how healthy Gaskin is going to be. Um, but if Malcolm Perry doesn't play either, we're down to Patrick Laird, a possibly still hurt Miles Gaskin, and maybe Lynn Bowden? Um... We really don't have much here either. That's really rough. I'm going to be honest with you. Our running back group's really taking a beating right now. Now, granted, we can't run the ball anyway, but still. I like it as an option. But... So Solomon Kinley is still listed as questionable, so if he can't go, I would imagine that Robert Hunt would still be our right tackle and we'll continue to play Jesse Davis at right guard. Um, I, I just assume that that'll be the case. But, anyway, uh, Tony Brown is out, and Alex Redman are straight up out for Cincinnati. Uh, Chris Clark, Brandon Wilson, Mike Thomas, Christian Covington, okay. So they got quite a few people that are questionable as well. Uh, AJ Green looks like he's going to be good to go. Um, let's see. As far as their quarterbacks go, it's most likely going to be Brandon Allen that we'll be seeing tomorrow. Um, like I said in my videos earlier in the week, it doesn't really matter to me which quarterback ends up starting, honestly. Uh, just send a lot of pressure their way, and I think we should be okay. Um, yeah. I'm not really as worried about the defense. It's our offense that really scares me. Um, if Gaskin's not 100% healthy, I hope we don't force him to play. We might have to just because of how bad our off our running back group is really beat up. If Washington and Ahmed can't go, man, we are really going to be in trouble. But, uh, and, I mean, Ryan Fitzpatrick will be fine. Um, we still don't have Preston Williams back, unfortunately. He's still on IR. Hopefully we get him back here shortly. As far as our receivers go, um, yeah, Malcolm Perry will probably be losing him. So, don't be surprised if Lynn Bowden gets a little bit more snaps. Uh, Matt Collins as well. We've been using him a little bit with Preston now just because he is 6'4". Um, Jakeem Grant is looking good to go, so he'll probably get a significant playing time. Callaway might see him a little more. Probably see a lot more of the tight ends. Um, and Parker should have a pretty good day. Yeah. Hopefully our defense can bail us out of another one, guys. Because... Um, this offense is already not that good, and it's really beat up right now. So, just kind of is what it is. But, 
Anyway, that's pretty much all I wanted to do for this video. I just want to kind of quickly go over it. Uh, like I said, this will probably come out tomorrow morning. Um, but, yeah. Anyway, that's going to be it for this video. If you liked it, I'd appreciate you hitting that like button. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments down below. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.